So in this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to use the Blending Board app. So as I have opened up the app, you're going to see the following on the left hand side is where you can create a deck and on the right hand side is where your decks can be saved. So I'm going to start off by going over to the create a deck. So when I tap on that, um, this is where you see the different options for column one, column two, column three. Now, if I simply just want to select single consonants, I can do that if I just want to tap on something here. But I want you to notice that there's a little pencil next to it. So I'm going to tap on the little pencil, and this is where all of the single consonants actually appear. So you can further customize what you want your students or uh, parents, what you want your children to see. If someone tells you that your kid needs to work on certain letters or certain combinations. So notice on here, I can go through and check and uncheck other items. We also added this plus sign in case there was something that you wanted to add at the beginning. But I'm gonna pretend like that that column I'm fine. Um, on column two, I'm going to have closed syllables. And um, at the end here, uh, I'm just going to keep it single consonants as well. But keep in mind, um, again, if I want to edit it at all, like on the closed syllable, I can come down here and take a look at that as I need it. All right. So once I have it selected, it's going to ask me, do I want to save my deck or do I just want to use this in the moment? So I'm going to hit test because I'm going to save this one just so you see where it appears. So right now, this is what the deck looks like um, whenever it has the selections that we made. So notice I can come through here and make different selections that I want. Um, I also wanted you to see that you can go through and change the background. We've got different options here. Um, if you want something standard, the blue is fine. Uh, Brayden, the coder, actually added some Easter eggs in here. And if you tap on the star, then you're going to get a pumpkin background. So just some different little tweaks there if you're interested in that. One thing I wanted you to notice is that up in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see this QR code. So what we came up with was that we were wanting to make it easier for teachers or users that were using this app. You know, if I've already made all of these different types of decks, for instance, I'm a school teacher, I make a deck and I want to share that deck and say, hey, families, this is one that's great that you could use. You can actually tap on the QR code and this QR code um, could then be scanned by your families or by um, folks that you're wanting to practice that deck. And then they're not going to have to build it from scratch. Um, the way I could see that being used is if I'm a teacher and I've got, you know, different people in my grade level. Well, why do we all need to make the same decks when somebody else has already made one? Um, but one thing that I wanted to demonstrate, so I'm going to go into my, my decks. If you notice on here, you do have the ability if you want to delete a deck. So I'm going to actually swipe to the left on a deck. And if I tap the little trash can, then it's going to go away. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that that possibility was out there. Um, a couple other things to note. Um, if we tap on the little brain there, this takes you out to the website that I've also created to go along with this app. Um, it has all free materials that can be used for dyslexia and also beyond um, someone who's dyslexic. You know, anybody who's struggling to read if they need to use this blending board to help out. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. There's a little settings area. And this was something that I learned in the beginning. I had my iPhone set to dark mode. And when I had it in dark mode, the um, cards on the deck were appearing very weird colors. And Brayden reached out to me and said, oh, well, that's just because you're in dark mode. So now what we've done is we've given it an auto um, so that that way it kind of overrides if you have it in dark mode. But if you do want it in light mode or dark mode, we gave you that option. If you want to preset the theme color, then you can do that as well. So I just wanted you to know 
that those options are out there. Um, the third one where it's got the QR code, this is just a little QR code reader. So if I tap it, then it's going to allow me um, to then open up my camera and I can actually scan if I was wanting to do that. All right, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of background on how to utilize our app. Feel free to share it with as many educators and families as what you can.